The airport securities are pretty thorough and strict on many things. Normally, there's nothing to be found, but sometimes strange things are uncovered. Three smugglers were busted when one of them was caught harboring a rare live loris monkey in his underwear. The three men's final destination was Dubai, and they had earlier escaped security checks from authorities at Bangkok with their master plan before being caught pants down in Delhi, India, trying to catch another flight. The men immediately admitted to smuggling another monkey they had ditched in a waste bin, which was later found. Australian Customs Service apprehended a woman in Melbourne who had arrived on a flight from Singapore for smuggling 51 live tropical fish under her skirt. She specifically designed an apron under her skirt to accommodate 15 plastic, water-filled bags containing the fish. What roused the suspicion of TSA agents was the flapping sound coming from her waist region. The species of the fishes could not be immediately determined and were seen as a potential health risk to local Australian fish population if they were disease-infested. In 2014, a lipstick taser was found on a young woman at Detroit International Airport. This little pink lipstick taser was capable of delivering 350,000 volts. The TSA agent confiscated the concealed weapon found in the female's baggage and she was free to go. Human skull fragments and teeth were found at Fort Lauderdale International Airport in Florida. The TSA agent noticed the skull fragments in a piece of ceramic pottery that belonged to one of two women traveling together. One of the females said they bought the pottery from Cuba and it was supposed to chase away evil spirits, but she had no idea there was a human skull inside. The pot containing the human skull was seized by the investigators and the women were released after being quizzed by homicide detectives. A 19-year-old woman was found to be jittery by officers in Spain, so the police searched her. What was discovered in her luggage was not drugs, but an 8-year-old boy. According to the civil guard, the boy could have easily suffocated during the travel. Reports stated the female was paid to carry the luggage, so the young boy was taken by social services. A shipment of 18 severed human heads still covered in skin was found at the Chicago International Airport. The US Customs and Border Protection investigated the shipment and its legitimacy for medical purposes but the foreign shipment with the identity of its source location and destination will not be disclosed. One of the spokespeople from Homeland Security stated legal medical shipments are not a rare occurrence in the various ports in the country. Three stuffed animals being screened under an X-ray would normally show cotton or other fabric materials inside it, but not in this case, where the staff at T.F. Green International Airport in Rhode Island analyzed the items of a man traveling with his four-year-old son. In his son's toys of stuffed teddy bear, a bunny rabbit, and a Mickey Mouse, parts that could be assembled into a loaded handgun were found. These are the mainframe of a 40 caliber firearm, a magazine with two 40 caliber rounds, a firing pin, and a slide, according to the TSA agents. The father pleaded ignorance and didn't know anything about the gun parts being inside the toy when questioned by officers. They were both released, but the toys were seized. Two men were apprehended at the Los Angeles airport for smuggling 14 live Asian songbirds from Vietnam. The documents revealed the man had 14 birds individually wrapped in cloth that were attached to his legs and ankles. These special songbirds cost $800 each, especially to collectors in the United States. The baggage handlers at the Munich airport in Germany discovered human skeleton remains in a plastic bag belonging to a 62-year-old woman traveling with her 63-year-old friend from Brazil to Italy. The remains contained a human skull and bones, as the airport scanner depicted. The woman explained the bones were of her dead brother, who died 11 years ago and who desired to be buried in Italy. 
she was allowed to continue on her trip to Naples as she presented documents from Brazilian authorities for the strange transport. This incident is similar to a spy movie. A young Asian male turned into a master of disguise and traveled across continents. Boarding a flight from Hong Kong as an old Caucasian male with the aid of a silicone mask, he looked and walked like an elderly man. But the security operative spotted something unusual about his hands. He had youthful hands. This prompted the Canada Border Agency to be on the look for an imposter. While mid-air, the young Asian loosened his disguise in the toilet and changed to a young Asian male. On arrival at Vancouver, the Canadian agents waited for the suspected old male, but they failed to spot him. Then they noticed the suspicious young Asian male in his early 20s and apprehended him. He was charged with attempting to enter Canada under false pretense. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.